For instance, this one, just before it turns into the half tone. This is slightly more red than this one. So I start again with a lot of white. I add some red light and some yellow ochre and mix together. First of all, I cover the eyes with a thin layer of dark paint. I take some burnt umber. I don't pay attention so much to the details and I still see my underpainting shining through. That's the main purpose. Here I need a lighter tone, so I mix the two lights. I add some more ochre and let's see what happens. Maybe it's too warm, but well, it's not too bad. Going downwards, I need some more red. I add some red deep for the neck. Well, it could be more grayish, but we'll see later. Now I make a color for that place where the neck turns towards the hair backwards. It's more grayish. It turns away. Now I make a mixture for the cool tones on the cheek with crimson. Maybe that's too much. Add some white. Let's see what happens. Well, it's not too bad. That will do. And going down, I need some more green, some permanent green. And going towards the beard, it's sort of cooler tones, more green or sometimes more blue. But this is okay. Somewhere here, I think. Oh, let's have a try. There we go. That's it. Glasses almost you shouldn't paint. The less you do, the more suggestive. Make my sharp brush and that's it there. Now I blend together the strokes to avoid some nasty shine afterwards once the painting is dry. 